tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you. From the cereal you can eat out of the bowl or out of the box, the cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Sugar Pop! Today, Kellogg's Sugar Pop, the cereal with the sweetening already on it, brings you Wild Bill Hickok, transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, The Walking Double X. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops are tops. Tops as a cereal with a little milk or cream. Tops as a snack right out of the box. Either way, you don't add sugar because the sweetening's already on them. They're shot with sugar. Yes, either way, you'll get plenty of pleasure eating these golden nuggets of pre-sweetened corn. Enjoy sugar pops often. Have Mom look for the package of Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops with the pictures of Guy Madison and Andy Devine right on the front. United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his big deputy Jingles were called on to break up many a gang of hard case outlaws. It wasn't the call for help, however, that led them into the, one of their most dangerous adventures. Instead, they were taken for outlaws themselves and rode straight into a brace of blazing six guns and a long fight over the mysterious brand of the Walking Double X. Bill, this sure is great cattle country. That's right, Jingles. Some mighty big spreads around here. Maybe that's what I ought to do. Get me a bunch of cows and start building up a herd. Now, where'd you get so much ambition all of a sudden, Bart? Oh, it ain't ambition. It's... That's gunfire, Jingles. I got ears. Now, doggone it, this was a nice, peaceful morning. Why does some Jasper want to bust it up that way? Come on, let's go see. Hi, a bunch of Run, boy. Stretch out, Joker. Where'd those shots come from, Bill? Over this second rise, I think. Bill! Look yonder, a rider fogging towards the same place. It's a girl, Jingles. Yeah. Hey, there's another rider starting down off to the rise to your right. Yeah, I guess he heard the shots, too. Maybe one of them saw something. Hey, look down there, Bill. Somebody got shot, all right. That, that girl got down and bending over somebody on the ground. Faster, Mark Shot. Come on, Jingles. That girl needs help. Back here they are. Shoot them. I shoot them. Oh, Mark Shot. Quick, Jingles. Bill, them shots are coming at us. That Jasper's loco. They don't know who we are. Come on, come on. Get off your horse. Yeah. Get behind something, Joker. Here, Bill. This rock's big enough for us both. Where's a good shot, Jingles? That last one kicked dust in my face. Yeah, and I'm about to kick a little dust off his nose, too. Hold it, Jingles, hold it. What's the matter with you, Bill? You ain't just gonna sit here and let him shoot at us without shooting back, are you? We might hit that young lady, partner. All right, let's figure some other way. Now, the shooting's coming closer. Good. Looks like they've figured it out for us. Yeah, and I don't like it. They're coming to look for us, Jingles. You shoot over their heads to show where we are. Yeah, this don't make sense, but I know better than to ask why. Behind that big rock, Rev. Low down, killers, come on. Be careful, Miss Connie. They can shoot too, you know. I don't care. I'll get us a killing dad. They think we're killers, Bill. Yeah, you stay here. I'll get up on this rock and bulldog him when he comes close enough. Well, Bill can take the darnest chances. If he misses, we'll both get a belly full of lead. Be ready, Rev. They were right back... There's one of them. Yeah, and here's where he... Bill! Gotcha, you're done. No, you don't, mister. Miss uh, 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 Connie, yeah. grab my gun and shoot him. Yeah. Get the girl, Jingle. Yeah. No, miss, we ain't no killer. I'll take that gun. You give me that gun. So you can shoot me with it? No, man. Now, before you sit down here with me and watch this fight, ought to be pretty good. Let me go. No, ma'am, I'd rather hold your hand being romantic like I am and... <laughs> Hey, coming, Bill. Let you know in a minute, Jingle. Rab, get up. I don't reckon he wants to very much, miss. Keep him covered, Jingle. All right, mister, get on your feet and let's talk this over. I ain't got no talking to do to killers like you. Unless it's with a six gun. You'd do better to be sure before you accuse somebody of a killing, Rab. You too, miss. You just made a mistake. You sure did. This here's Wild Bill Hickok. Just messed up Rab here, and I'm his deputy Jingles. Hickok? 
Wild Bill Hickok? Oh, Marshal, I'm sorry, but with the dad laying down there shot, the minute I saw you, I, I was sure you did it. Your pa? Oh, now that's a crying shame, miss. So he made a mistake, Marshal. Anyone would have done the same seeing you storming up like he was. That's possible. But you got no call to keep my gun now, I reckon. Give him his gun, Jingle. All right, but he'd better keep it holstered if he wants to keep out of trouble. When I'm looking for your advice, I'll ask for it, lardhead. Rab, that's no way to talk to these men. They were coming to help us. We don't need their help. We can take care of our own troubles. Come on, Miss Connie, I'll take you home. Hold it, Rab. There's been a killing. Finding the killer the job for the law. Yeah, and the way you're acting, you could have done it yourself. Now, put away I've that... I've heard gun. enough out of you, Tin Horn. No, Rab! Sugar pots. They're sugar-coated, taste so sweet. Just pour on some milk. Mm, boy, they're neat. Kellogg's sugar corn pops. Sugar pops are tops. Now sugar pops, you know, are sweet. But cowboys know there's an extra treat. Right out of the box, take a handful out. Pop them into your mouth as you run about. Kellogg's sugar corn pops. Sugar pops are tops. Yes, Sir Wranglers, Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops are tops. Why, just talking about them's enough to make your mouth water. Big, pre-sweetened, golden pops of corn. That's Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. And that's mighty fine munching anytime. Right out of the box or out of a bowl with a little milk or cream. Good? Well, you just try Sugar Pops and see if you don't agree. They're the rip-snorting cereal in a rootin' tootin' snack. And remember, Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops never need sugar because the sweetening's already on them. They're shot with sugar. And remind Mom that every average bowl full of sugar pops supplies the average daily adult requirement of vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin. Ask Mom to look for the packages with Guy Madison and Andy Devine riding their horses across the front of the package. Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. While Bill and Jingles were about to ask Rab and Connie some questions when Rab suddenly threw down on Jingles with a blazing six-gun. What's oh, oh, oh. that you, mister? You gone loco? You all right, Jingles? I ain't so sure this sidewinder just about parted my hair for me. All right, Rab, pick up that gun of yours. Settle down and talk sense, Rab. I ain't got nothing to say because I don't know nothing. You can palaver with these tin stars if you want to. Me, I've got work to do. Now, just Never mind, um, Jingles. No. We'll see Miss Connie home. Thank you, Mr. Hickok. I can tell you all I know when we get there. I, I don't feel much like talking right now. You feeling better now, Miss Connie? Yes, Jingles, thank you. That's good. Because Bill's got a couple of questions he wants to ask you. Well, if you don't mind. Go right ahead, Bill. Oh, by the way, I sent for Grant Marcus to come over from the next ranch, the Diamond J. I think he can help you, too. We're likely to need all the information we can get, Miss Connie. Well, first, I'd like to know who Rab is. The man who shot at you this morning? He's Dad's foreman. I see. Why do you think your dad was killed? Well, I... I think he found out something about the secret of the Walkin' Double X brand, Bill. The Walkin' Double X brand? What's that? Your brand is a bar four, isn't it? Yes. But this mysterious new brand has been popping up all over the range. It started two years ago with Mavericks. But this year, a lot of spring calves are showing up with a fresh Walkin' Double X brand. Who owns the brand? Yeah, it's got to be registered with the Cattlemen's Association, don't it? Oh, I'm sure that's grand. Come on in. Hi. Mr. Hickok, Jingles, I'd like you to shake hands with Grant Marcus, foreman of the Diamond J. Well, howdy, Grant. Afternoon, Marcus. Howdy. Jingles. Glad you could come over, Grant. You might tell us what you know about the walking double X brand. You figure that had something to do with the death of Connie's pa, Mr. Hickok? Wild Bill don't tell much about what he figures till he's got it all figured, Grant. I uh, see. Well, I don't mind telling what I think. I think Mr. Boyce had a line on that Maverick brand and got killed because of it. You got any positive ideas about who killed him? Well, I can't prove it, but you might ask the old man's foreman, Rab Ransom. I heard that, Grant Marcus. 
And this time I'm going to shut your trap once and for all. My head, Reb, I'd be glad to blast. Hold on, Reb. Stand back, Marshal. This has been brewing for a long time. Yeah. And this is going to be the finish of it. No, Grant, you'll get hurt. Yeah, pretty boy. I'm going to mess up your face for you. Try it and welcome. Might get right to the culture. This boy Grant packs a wallop like a Missouri mule. Grant, are you all right? Yeah, sure, honey. But your foreman's not breathing very good. He sure ain't. You know, he's got a bad habit of sticking his face in other people's pants. Yeah, you pay for this, Grant. And you pay plenty. You boys got an old feud going, Grant. I think I'm the cause of it, Mr. Hickok. No, I wouldn't be a bit surprised at that. Pretty girl can start men feuding right easy. Well, that isn't what I meant, Jingles. No. I've been trying to get Grant to come and work as foreman for Dad. Dad always wanted him to. And Grant had other ideas. <laughs> yes. He's stubborn. That's got nothing to do with the walking double X brand, Marshal. You stick to the subject. Touchy, ain't he? <laughs> if you want to see some of those brands, Mr. Hickok, I'd be proud to ride out over Connie's range and show you a few. Good idea, Grant. Jingles, suppose you stay here and keep an eye on Miss Connie while we're gone. That's all right with me, Bill. But watch yourself. You know how many times you get in a mess of trouble when you go meandering off without me to watch out for you. There's another one, Wild Bill. A yearling. Reckon that's one of the Mavericks they got last spring. Yeah, we found quite a few so far, Grant. Too many, if you ask me. There's a spring calf. Let's take a look at its brand. Get around there, boy. Get along, Buckshot. I'm going to throw a rope on him, Marshal. No, get in, Grant. Get in there, Buckshot. My loop's ready. No. Cut. All right, fella. We're not going to hurt you. Yeah. Same infernal brand made by the same iron. Brand's got to be registered to do anybody any good unless they drive him out of here. Rustling, you mean? Yeah. No, no rustling. The brand's just popping up on the range like bitter weed. As far as being registered, it is. In whose name? Man by the name of Green Summers. What? Green Summers, but nobody's ever seen him. That name sounds phony to me. Yeah, it does, come to think of it. Well, whoever it is has got a mighty busy branding iron, and he's well known around here. Sorry, little fella. Didn't mean to keep you so long. We'll go now. <laughs> you didn't take much of the idea of a visit with us. What do you say we get back to the ranch, Grant? I don't like the way things are shaping up. All right, Buckshot, let's go. Hey, you act like you got a sudden idea, Marshal. I have. And I don't know why I didn't have it sooner than this. It's getting dark fast. Bad as that? Worse. Do we have to go back through that narrow pass to get to the ranch house? That's the only way from here. Then I hope you're as good with a six gun as you are with your fist. This might come a sudden storm of lead slugs before we get there. Hi, Buckshot, hi! Are you sure they went out through this pass, Rab? I told you I trailed him until he was past here, didn't I? Then I sent for you. Well, they ain't come back yet. No, and they've got to come back through here. We got a cinch this time. Ain't such a cinch in the dark. That Hickok slippery is a grease pig scared by lightning. On that narrow trail, we'll cut them both to ribbon. Now, quit fretting, will you? I got a right to fret. Things was going good till this morning. Things are going better now. We got rid of old man Boyce, and now we're getting rid of Hickok. From how I'm here. Yeah, hold it. I hear something. Yeah. Hickok and that honey boy, Grant, heading right into their last roundup. All right, get set. Yeah, and don't miss. Ready? No, grab it! Blast them out of that saddle! You know, if I could step into your living room now and ask you whether you like Kellogg's sugar corn pops better as a breakfast cereal or as a snack, I'll bet it'd come out pretty even. Most folks like them fine both ways. Some like them a mite better as snacks, others like them more as a cereal, but all in all, just about everybody likes them both ways. Yes, sir, Mom loves pops, kids love pops, pops love pops. As a cereal or as a snack, those golden nuggets of pre-sweetened pops of corn sure are popular with everybody. And remember, no matter how you enjoy Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops, you never have to add any sugar, because the sweetening's already on them. They're shot with sugar. Have Mom get some. Get the package with Guy Madison and Andy Devine thundering down the trail on their horses. That's Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Yippee! 
Sugar pops. They're sugar-coated, taste so sweet. Just pour on some milk. Oh, boy, they're neat. Kellogg's sugar corn pops. Sugar pops are tops. Now sugar pops, you know, are sweet. But cowboys know there's an extra treat. Right out of the box, take a handful out. Pop them into your mouth as you run about. Kellogg's sugar corn pops. Sugar pops are pops. Under cover of night, the villainous Rab had set up an ambush to cover the pass through which Wild Bill Hickok and Grant Marcus had to ride on their return to the ranch. When the sound of hooves echoed in their ears, Rab gave the order to fire. Let him have it! Blast him out of them saddles! Reckon we got him? Sure we got him. Light a torch and we'll go down and take a look. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't gonna find enough left of him to identify. Guess I was real smart to think of this ambush. You was real smart if it worked, Rab. Yeah. If it didn't, well, I'm dog. What? What's the matter? Where's the two bodies we're supposed to find down here? They've got to be here. Got to be, but they ain't. I told you Hickok was slick. He's gone. You ain't never going to catch up to him now. Now, get him. Don't worry about it. There's going to be one time when he'll turn his back on me. And that's the time I'll be waiting for. Rocking chair I ever sat in in my whole life, Miss Connie. Oh, it's no good, Jingles. They've been gone too long, and you know it. You can't keep me from being worried. Oh, now, Miss Connie, you know Grant's out with Wild Bill. Nothing ain't gonna happen to him. Why, why did I ever tell you about the time Wild Bill was surrounded by a whole tribe of screaming Comanches led by the meanest renegade you ever did see? <laughs> No, you didn't. I just met you this morning. I didn't, huh? <laughs> well, I guess that's right. Well, it was right after the big fight we had with that no-good Blackbeard. What time is it, Jingle? Now, you ain't listening, Miss Connie. Uh, don't want to hear my story, huh? No, Jingle. Oh, it's about 8.35. 8.35? Doggone it, Bill should have been back here two hours ago. Well, that's what I said. Now you're worried, too. No, no, I'm not. But Bill's old enough to take care of us. Gunfire! Where, where's my six-gun? Let me out of here. Joker! Come here, you jughead! Bill's in trouble. Jingle, what do you think happened? Gunfight! Some high-binding bushwhackers are after Bill and Grant. They got him holed up in a doggone cave. I'll bet and if I don't hurry, I'm going to be too late to save him. Oh, no. No, no, no. I didn't mean to scare you, Miss Connie. But, Gingles, wait. I hear horses. It's a chase. There's 40 owl hoots right on Bill's heels. I got to go head them off before they catch him. Jingles, there are two horses and no gunfire. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I guess you're right. I just hope it's Bill and Grant. It is, Miss Connie. See, I, I told you they were safe and sound. <laughs> howdy, Bill, howdy. Oh, what's, oh, oh. what's the hurry? Just had a little trouble up the line, Jingles. Put it out, steady. Steady. Grant, are, are you all right? Uh, sure, Connie. Oh, this Hickok's about the smartest gent I ever run into. Oh, how's that? Well, he ran us right through a set-up ambush. We didn't even get a scratch. But how? That close can fool a man's ears at night, Miss Connie. Those bushwhackers shot up the ground a split second after we had passed by. Yeah. Oh, but uh, Wild Bill's got some questions to ask you, honey. Yes, and there's no time to waste. What is it, Bill? Were you and Rab riding together this morning when your father was shot? Oh, no, we all split up at the house. I rode down the south line of the ranch. Rab rode up the north line. Dad rode straight across the ranch. We were to meet right there at, at the spot where he was killed. That's all I wanted to know. Where's Rab now? Well, you know Don well he was out there setting up that ambush for us, Marshal. Then where does he bunk? Well, he's got a lean-to room just off the bunkhouse. Come on, I'll show you. Bill, what's got you so head up? Tell you in a minute, Jingles, if I'm right. <laughs> he ain't told me nothing either, Jingles. You think 
Zab killed my dad, Wild Bill? Thinking a thing doesn't prove it, Miss Connie. It's proof of a lot of things that I'm after. Well, here's Rab's room. Bill, if he wasn't out there behind one of them rifles, he just might be sitting in there in the dark waiting. That's right, partner. All right, stay back, folks, while I kick in this dark. It's all right, Jingles. Nobody here. Where till I get the lamp? Come on in, Miss Connie. Grant, watch that door. Yeah. No desk. Hey, there's a drawer on this table. Maybe it's here. Yep. Now, that was right careless of him. What, what, what is it, Bill? Does that paper prove anything, Bill? Yes. It's a contract to sell all the walking double X brand to your foreman, Rab Ramson, signed by Mr. Green Summers. Both names belong to the same man. I knew it. Rab was behind that brand all the time. Now, hold on. I don't get it. Rab used the name of Green Summers to register the cattle, Jingles. Then he made up this contract to sell himself the double X cattle. A neat little scheme, huh? And I'll bet he killed Dad because he knew something. Oh. Bill, somebody shot out the lamp. I can't see anything. Too bad you found that paper, Hickok. Now you've signed a death warrant for all four of you. Billy's right outside that window. Talk to him, Jingles. Give me some time. Yeah, if I can think of something to say. Ah, uh, uh, Rab, did, did I ever tell you about the time that Wild Bill was surrounded by a whole tribe of Sioux Indians led by a big red-headed Jasper with a long black beard? Ah! I guess he don't like that story, That's Bill. enough, Jingles. Rab, your time's run out. All right, you don't up. Bill! Say something, Bill! All right, partner. He's out cold. You can pick him up and take him to jail. Doggone it, Bill Hickok. Don't take so long to answer me after this. Sorry, partner. I had to get my breath. Yeah, well, I hope it don't take Grant that long to get his breath when he marries up with Connie. I might have time to think it over and marry her myself. <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. Andy, looks like Wild Bill and Jingles are going to be working on New Year's Day. Well, Guy, I just happen to know that Wild Bill and Jingles are going to have their business mixed in with pleasure when they drop in on the party in Gunpowder Pass. So long, kids. See you Friday. <laughs> Choose your favorite Kellogg's Variety Pack. Show mom and dad and kitties too. Choose a Kellogg's cereal is good for you. In Kellogg's Variety Pack, you'll find many favorites like Corn Flakes, Rice Krispies, and the new Ready Sweetened Treats, all in generous individual serving size boxes. So, choose, choose, choose your favorite Kellogg's Variety Pack. <laughs> Kellogg, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Gene Bates, John Stevenson, and Jack Moyles. Our director is Paul Pierce, story by Larry Hayes, music by Dick Orant. This is a David Heyer production, transcribed in Hollywood. Now, this is Charlie Lyon, speaking for Kellogg, the greatest name in cereals. Reminding you to listen again on Friday, same time, same station, for another adventure of... Wild Bill Hickok!
the summer cold or if it's hay fever. But regardless...